So today, I'm going to show you how to play Pacific Drive in virtual reality. And it's free. Not the game. That's about $30. No, the mod that turns it into virtual reality. It's the Prey Dog Injector. And it's for any games, basically, which are Unreal Engine related or created. So what you need to do is make yourself a little folder like that and name it because you don't install this injector. You just leave it lying about on your desktop in a folder. And I'll leave all the links that you need uh, in the description. The problem with this at the moment is that Windows Defender thinks it's a virus and it thinks it's a very severe virus. It isn't. So you need to turn your Windows Defender off. And then once you've downloaded it and extracted it into your folder, extracted it like that so you can see all the, the files, then you need to add it to your exclusions like that. This is how you do it. I'll leave this explanation also in the description. Or you can screenshot that. You know, quote, see, look, do you want to screenshot it? No, of course you don't. It's going to be in the description. So, now you've done that, the next thing you need to download is this. Again, I'll leave, the, uh, I'll leave it in the description. What you'll get is this. It shows you all the games you own, which are compatible with the injector, see Unreal Engine, Unreal Engine, Unreal Engine, all these games are, are compatible, I can, use, I can use the 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 injector on them to turn them into VR games. And these are the ones I've got installed at the moment. So we're going to select that, and then what we're going to do, we're going to start the game. Now you're going to have to press, let me just lift my headset up so I can put my finger on it. There it is, the button next to control, on the bottom uh, left hand side is your windows button you're going to have to press that once you start the game i'm going to start the game i'm going to bring that up and i'm going to press on play so we started the game and i'm going to press play again now i'm going to press oh i'm not going to press that and i'm going to press that and we're going to go to this lift this up there there it is now and i'm going to click on run Ooh, and this will happen. And that. Any minute now. Here we go. This will pop up. You can close that with your mouse. Or you can close it by pressing both thumbsticks down. There we are. You can go through the settings and everything. Uh, you can have a mess about with your settings if you want. I turn mine down. Because I'm running this on a 3060. And by default, they were all set at... What was it now? Oh, they're all set at Ultra. I should have tried it at Ultra, but I didn't. So there. So what we're going to do, we're going to start from the beginning. Because look, I've had two goals already. And I suggest that you, you keep on watching the video until at least I get to the garage on the other side of the wall. Because there's a little tricky bit there. And the reason I'm having to do this for the third time, well, one of the reasons, is because... I got to that tricky bit and it took me 10 minutes to figure it out. So I can show you right away so you don't get stuck. It's just a little bit where you start the car up. And in VR it's a little bit awkward. So we we'll skip that. This bit's a little bit in your face. That comes up. But look! Isn't this brilliant? Doesn't this look brilliant? Wow! So we'll set off. Ooh! So this bit is just a tutorial bit. And here things look okay because there's not many uh, anomalies happening. So apparently there's been some experiments done and they've made a big mistake and things have gone terribly wrong. In other words, the shit has hit the fan. But it's okay because they built a big wall around it. I'll show you. Drive up this road here. I don't like that music. But it goes off afterwards. You can turn it down. I've turned it down in the settings, but it's quite loud at the beginning, whether you like it or not. In a bit, it'll go away. The music, I mean. Look, isn't this pleasant? Oh, look. So I'm going to turn the windscreen rifles on, because it's going to start pissing it down. See, it's horrible music, isn't it? It's depressing. And it's raining as well, which makes it even more depressing. Ooh. Let's get around this corner. 
so you can upgrade your car and you can go out scanning things and you don't have to sit in your car all the time you can get out of your car you can reverse you can drive up there if you want so it's a lot more open than I thought it was. I thought you'd just be stuck to a road and you just had to follow the road, but oh no, you don't have to do that at all. You can do all kinds of shit. I forget how far, it's not far now, you don't have to, in fact, what I'll do, so you don't have to watch this boring crap and listen to me talk shit, I'll, uh, I'll put a timestamp in the description so you can just skip forward to the bit where you have to turn the car engine on. Because like I said, if you don't, if, if you've not played the game or you've never played it in VR before, you get to that bit, you might get stuck for a little while, and that would be unfortunate. Just turn the headlights on. Ooh. See, I think that music goes away when we come out of this tunnel. See, I've got to uh, talk as much as possible, really, because if I don't, I go into kind of a trance. You know, when I'm driving and I start messing up. It's one of the reasons I don't drive in real life, because I'll be a fucking liability. Oh, here we are. There's that wall. Ooh. So we have to turn around here, go off road. Oh, it's a bit bumpy, and that says warning. Somebody's drove down here before. Yeah, it's a bit of a sci-fi, sci-fi horror. I like the sci-fi bit, the horror bit not so much. I don't really like horror movies. We're down here. Look, bits of anomaly lilies. Coming out of that wall there. And stuff floating about. Look at the size of that fucking wall and all. Look at it, it's massive. Wow. Well, I think this, I think we're coming up to the bit where we, where sh shit happens. Do 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 do. Oh, here we go. See, I knew that was going to happen. So, all the lights have gone out in the car. And I hope you haven't got attached to this car. Because this is going to happen. See, I'm. Whoa. I'm still taking me by surprise that. I'm sorry for spoiling that bit for you. This is exactly why I'm going to keep the video short, if pos as short as possible because I don't want to spoil anything. See, here we are. Everything's ruined. And when you're in this place where you're near this, this green stuff and red stuff, uh, it, it affects the graphics quality. It's not really affecting the graphics quality. It's just like, a, oh, look, sprint. It's just the effects of the anomaly. Once you get out of that, it clears up. But you know when you're in the anomaly when you're driving the car because it starts getting a bit fuzzy. Just run down here. See how good I am at running away? It's one of the really good things that I'm good at, running away. I'm shit at everything else in games, but I'm really good at running away. Running away and crouching. Look, I'm brilliant at crouching. I just crouch through there. I stand up again. I'm running away again. Run away, jump. Yeah, I'm good at jumping. Jumping, crouching, and running away. Oh, and this is a kicking bit. Just kick that. Oh no, that crouch. Kick. See, I'm good at kicking, jumping, crouching, and running away. And this is the garage I was telling you about. See, and this guy, I think he's talking to you on the CB radio in this car, I think. And he's going to help you. See, I don't know who Francis is. But it's raining again. Look, see, things floating about. So I'm going to crouch here and pick this wheel up because it's uh, it tells me to put the wheel on there. Pick the wheel up. I'm going to stay crouched and just walk in here. And I'm going to go here and step back a bit. Step of that up. Stand up. Crouch. And move it about a bit. There. And I'm going to install that. There. Stand up now and get in the car. Ooh, oh no, don't close it, get in. Now this was a tricky bit for me, was starting the engine, because as you see it says start the engine, you've got to turn that key. And no matter what I did by turning my head around, I couldn't do it. I managed to do it once by turning around, using the uh, thumb controller to turn around like this. But I've got my mouse here at the side and it's just a lot easier with my mouse to just turn it about like this. There, 
wipers on turn on engine that's easy isn't it yeah. so the engine's turned on and we now go down here and put in drive I use my mouse to do that uh, now we're in drive. This is Tobias no. and Francis Cook, located in mid zone sector B. Do you read? Me? Okay. I'm picking Ooh, up your distress right. signal. And now we can drive. It looks like you're somewhere around sector E. If wow. Yes, so isn't that good? Now I'm not going to show you anymore because I'll just spoil it. But there. highly recommended. I love driving games. And if we drive down here a little bit. Oh, hey, I'll just show me? you one last little thing, Hello? and it should set you up for the rest of the adventure. Working. Drive down here. Oh shit, I'm the, oh crap. Uh, right, don't do that. Whatever you do, don't do that. Did it from outside? A so, oh, we'll go down hey, here. It looks really you know, good. And like I said, I've turned all my settings down. So there's a car here, and look, I've run out of petrol. That's a good point. So I can hey, get out of the car. The yeah. in, oh, put the brake on. Oh, fuck. I should have put the brake on, but I didn't do. Never mind. Run behind the car like this. Don't get run over. Wait for it to stop. See that though? It's stuck there. That's a petrol can. Isn't that weird? So we'll take that. It's stuck with some gooey stuff. And we run over here. And we can siphon petrol out of here. Siphon. Oh, trigger. Look, isn't that good? And you can see it filling up there. Seeing orange, yellow, and green. Brilliant. Now, we can run over here. And we can put this in our car. Okay, what, what does that say? Oh, I'm going to drive east and find shelter so that's going to be my garage and, and people will help me again look it's filling up it's red there in it can you see it oh oh it's it's not full to the top now I need to put this bike in here just turn the store oh fuck and then just get in the car and run away well drive away quickly quick as I can and I'm going now before I die look it's gonna kill me I'm going bye yeah, gotta go gotta go gotta go gotta go I know I said I'd, I would only keep this short, but I'm a fucking liar, me. I just tell lies all the time. See, I thought I'd come back because I want to know what's at this refuge that these two guys are talking about. Uh, oh, shit, book. So I thought, I thought you might want to know. So if you don't want to know, now's the time to turn off, if you haven't already. But just... I've noticed in the playback of the first video and all, the, the first part of this video, that uh, every time I turn my head down the left hand side of the screen, oh sorry, right hand side of the screen, there's a bar that appears, a black bar. Well, you don't see that in in the headset. As I'm playing now, it's, I don't see that at all. That's just in playback, I'm, I apologise for that. Just, oh, I'm going backwards now. Yeah, I do, I need to get to safety. So I wanted to point that out as well. Oh look, for green stuff. So I just want to get to safety to see what's at safety. I think there's going to be a garage and I keep losing control. I'm a really bad driver. Shit. I'm going to die. I don't want to die. Go, 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 go. When you find that shelter, don't oh, worry and let yourself in. Oh, well, I will. This car's really naff at the moment, but you can upgrade it in all, all kinds of stuff. I think this is it. I'll just drive in, yeah? Go so, up there. Yep. 
Yes. There, there's a way into the building. Okay. Uh, I don't want to turn lights. There. Ugh. Right, let's get in here. Am I safe in here? So this is it. Flip the breaker switch. This is the place we get. Oh, flip this. Yeah. Oh look, there's stuff and everything. Oh. Still pissing down. Shut that. Whoa, which backpack? Oh shit, what's happening? Oh, this, okay. Hello, uh, attention. This message is for Dr. Ophelia Turner. We send a wow, look. So there's all this shit to play about with. So this is my base, I think, now. Look, do I need this? Should I drive my car in here? Is there enough room for it? I think so. I think I should. Do you think I should listen to what he's saying? I think I should. Look, it's raining. I don't really want to go out in that. But I'm going to do. Oh. Uh, no, I don't want to pick that up yet. I want to put my car inside. Yeah. Oh, put it in a drive. See again. Can I use my stick for this? Oh, there. That wipers. Turn on. Oh, that's. Yeah, I'm using the stick now. My right hand, uh, the right thumb stick. Hey. I'm not very good at this. Oh, your side mirrors work as well, Luke. Here we go. I also noticed in the playback that you, I couldn't see my steering wheel in the playback. I don't know if you can see it now. You, I can see it. It's there. See, look, it's there. But in the playback, I couldn't see that. I think that's because, I don't know what it's because. I've no idea. Did I open the door? Yeah, I did. Duh, look. Oh, the weather is terrible. I hope the sun comes out later on. Just park up in here. Duh. And now, I definitely will leave you before I pick up the mechanic's eye. Let's all headset over there. That's going to be interesting. Anyway, I'm going now, so... Bye. Sorry about making the video a bit longer, but that's just the kind of guy I am.